temperatures just a little bit this afternoon, warming them into the 70s and lower 80s. Well, in the eastern UP, we hung on to the rain, and that's still the case on our local three radar network. We still have the last of the rain from about Whitefish Point back towards Paradise and then southward towards St. Ignace and the Mackinac Bridge. But as we fire up the satellite, you can see that we do have clearing skies from basically Munising Escanaba westward, and that, like I said, has helped out temperatures. You can see the warmer temperatures on this map, including 75 for Soria International, 80s as you head west of Marquette towards the Wisconsin border, but definitely cooler, closer to Lake Superior and into the eastern UP. We do have Newberry checking in at 70 degrees. Dew points, refreshing air, starting to move into upper Michigan. We do have dew points in the western UP dropping back into the 50s, and that means some drier air. Pleasant air is moving on in well across the east where the rain still hangs on. It's still a little bit on the humid side with dew points mid to upper 60s, so a little bit uncomfortable out there. So here's our local three future cast here. The last of the rain is moving on out and moving into northern Ontario. As we put this into motion, we'll have clearing skies tonight. Look for low temperatures in the 50s inland, 60s though, I think as you get closer to the shorelines of the Great Lakes. For tomorrow, the clouds may pick up the paper a little bit. I'm going to go with clouds and sunshine for tomorrow. Don't be surprised if some rain showers develop along the Wisconsin border and across the south central UP. And then as we go into tomorrow night, partly cloudy skies. And then as we go into Sunday, once again, clouds and sunshine in the weather forecast. But don't be surprised if a rain shower or two pops up. But definitely, I think cooler temperatures as we go into Sunday. Dew points. This is going to be the big refreshing thing for the weekend. Dew points go into the 50s tonight and then watch what happens tomorrow. Dew points do stay in the 50s for the most part and then for Sunday once again dew points remaining in the 50s. So for those of you who don't have air conditioning like me this is definitely going to be a refreshing weekend to open up the windows and air things out and get some more comfortable air inside your place as we look at the next three days here. Tomorrow clouds and sunshine but I just want to note don't be surprised if some rain showers pop up. Look for high temperatures on Saturday in the the 70s and 80s. The warmest temperatures Saturday will be closer to the Michigan Wisconsin border and for inland areas west of Escanaba. For the daytime on Sunday, we're looking at once again clouds and sunshine. A little bit cooler on Sunday, especially closer to Lake Superior as that northerly wind picks up the pace a little bit. High temperatures, 60s right along the immediate Lake Superior shoreline. Elsewhere, plan on around 70 or the 70s. As we go into Monday, we're looking at bright, beautiful sunshine to start next week. High temperatures, 70s and 80s, and that's about where temperatures remain next week. 70s and 80s, a little bit warmer, and the humidity might tick up again. Next, better rain chance and maybe even a storm chance comes on the daytime on Tuesday, and then some slight storm chances Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Out on the water for this evening, just be aware of a little bit of a chop out on Western Lake Superior, so use caution if you do have a kayak. Weather anytime at upmatters.com.